back to First Farmers Co-op Pasture Weed of the Month. This month we're going to be talking about horse nettle or Carolina nettle and some people call it bull nettle. Horse nettle is a summer perennial that is easily distinguished by its white to purplish flowers in late spring and early summer and its spiny to thorn-like stems around the leaves and on its stem and also in the late summer to early fall it puts on these green almost tomato-like berries that will turn yellow in the late summer. Horse nettle can be easily killed by using Grazon or Duracore. However, in West Tennessee, we have been experiencing a drought and very dry conditions. When you feel of the leaf on the horse nettle, it's almost a velvet, leathery type leaf. When conditions get dry, it gets worse. And so, it's really hard for the chemical and water to penetrate the leaf to get a sufficient kill. Anytime you're spraying horse nettle in dry conditions, you really need to wait until you get any kind of rain. When spraying Grazon on a foliar application for horse nettle, use a pint and a half per acre. When using Duracor, use 16 ounces to the acre. Whenever you're using a fertilizer application, you use a rate of one quart of Grazon per acre or Duracor at a rate of 20 ounces per acre. The best time to use a fertilizer application for horse nettle would be say after your first cutting of hay, let it green back up and then use the fertilizer application because horse nettle would not be up enough to kill in the springtime for your first cutting. If you have any questions on how to kill horse nettle, you can contact your local First Farmers Co-op or your First Farmers Co-op livestock specialist. And always remember, First Farmers Co-op is proud to be first on the farm.